In this video, we will talk about Bootstrap new features. But first, let's have a quick intro. Bootstrap is a free and open source CSS framework for developing fast, responsive websites. It contains HTML, CSS, and JavaScript based design component features. Let's talk about new features which have been added in this 5.3 version. Even now, you can choose any mode on Bootstrap official website, dark or light. This is the official blog for new functionality which have been added in this version. Now let's see new added features by navigating to the docs. In the customize section click on color modes. Dark mode is a popular feature that allows users to switch to dark mode for their web pages. Bootstrap now has built in support for dark mode, which makes it easy to add, which can be enabled by adding the dark class to the body element. Dark mode in action. Now take a look at how new dark mode works. First check out docs, then come to the customize section and click color mode. Bootstrap supports color mode, explores the new dark and default light modes. It supports color modes, explores the new dark and default light modes. Just look at on this page Naba in the usage there is enable dark mode we can enable dark mode across the entire project by adding data bootstrap theme to dark attribute to the html element let's have a try just copy this code and paste it to the ide wow i modified code a little bit for better looking Custom color mode. Have a look at another features, new color mode. It is supported by an extensive color system that themes our styles and components. This enables more comprehensive customization and extension for any project. Extended color palette. Bootstrap updated color palette to include all SAS variables, CSS variables and utilities for setting color, background color and border color. Its color palette has continued to expand and become more varied and complex in this version. Added new variables for secondary and tertiary text and background colors, color background shuttle, color border shuttle and color text emphasis for theme colors. Theme colors have been enlarged to include their background colors, shuttle border colors and deeper text colors. While foreground and background colors have been expanded to include new secondary, tertiary and emphasis color. We can use a booster body color and booster body color RGB or red, green, blue to change colors. Let's see an example of how it works. Just copy and paste this code to IDE. Here is our element with the utilities. We can change its color, change primary to danger. Okay. Now let's have a look at Bootstrap's official blog. First enjoy this song for a few seconds. I don't know if it is copyrighted or not. Dark theme, we have already talked about it. They now even feature dark drop downs. Try the drop down for dark colors. It is a dark mode. It's a dark mode drop down, as you can see. We have already talked about it. New link helpers and utilities. Link styling is better in this version with a variety of improvements from all new link helpers and utilities. First time Bootstrap added styles to place icons alongside links with the new icon. Let's have a look. First we need to install Bootstrap icons library. Then we can use them in our project. This is an icon and link together like this we can. Let's have a look. To use the Bootstrap icons library we must first install it. In this way we can use an icon and link together. You can see that here we have a text front icon for setting link color opacity, underline offset, underline color, and underline opacity. We have additional classes on the utilities side. Investigate the new link tools. We have new classes for setting link color opacity, underline offset, and underline color, and more. Let's see what it looks like. New nav underline. There is a new nav variant and modify a class with nav underline. Add nav underline to a nav. Get a simpler bottom border under the active link. There is a new nav variant and modifier class uh, with nav underline. Add nav underline to a nav. Get a simpler bottom 
program. There is a new nav variant and modifiers class with the nav underline. So with the help of this feature, we can bottom border under the active nav link. Now talk about other things which added in this version and improve, improve documentation. The documentation for Bootstrap has been improved, making it easier to learn and how to use bug fixes and performance improvement. 5.3 version includes a number of bug fixes and performance improvements. Bootstrap this version 5.3 includes a number of bug fixes and performance improvements. These fixes and these fixes and improvements make Bootstrap more stable and efficient. Overall, boot, overall Bootstrap 5.3 is a significant update that includes a number of new features and improvement. If you are using Bootstrap, I recommend upgrading to Bootstrap 5.3. Thank you so much guys for this video. Please subscribe.